Hello, I'm Ben Bungie with The White's Company. I want to introduce you today to Gary Edgington with Baker Electric. Welcome, Ben. Today we're going to take you out to our prefab warehouse area and show you some of the stuff that we're doing for the Hilton Des Moines downtown project. Okay, for this project, we prefabricated wiring for the 300 guest rooms. Part of the pre-assembly operation includes making electrical tails in-house, both cutting to length and pre-stripping insulation. This allows us to reduce overall waste and eliminates a large amount of job site clutter. So prior to going to prefab, a detailed layout of each guest room type is prepared by our design department. It will include details such as device ID and dimensions. First stop of our prefab process is assembling all the device boxes, connectors, adding the supports and staging them in bins for cabling. The next step is adding pre-cut and strip cables to the box assemblies. Part of the cable preparation includes stripping the outer jacket and sheath and installing the connector. Once cables are installed, a specific label is added and the entire assembly is placed into a roll-in bin identified for specific room. So in addition to the prefabrication process, we also build custom temporary power structures and enclosures. We build conduit duct banks for direct installation into the ground, re-rod cages for the pole bases and even pre-assemble light pole bases to make them ready for direct installation on the site when they arrive. Well Gary, I want to thank you for the tour of your prefab shop. I thought it did a great job of explaining how uh, a trade partner can truly provide a benefit to a project. Specifically, nothing hits the floor, uh, efficiencies within building rooms, and really uh, taking the full construction into a prefabrication mode where uh, efficiencies can be gained in the field.